Hello fellow YouTubers. So this is going to be a care package unboxing. The story behind this box that my parents sent me from the US to here in the UK for my study abroad is a very long one. Basically it's three months late. Like it was supposed to be, uh, I was supposed to get it before Christmas, you know, kind of like a care package, you know, some food from home, that kind of stuff. Um, Non-perishables, thank goodness, because I mean it might be stale by now. But you know, and a scarf, and you know, just a little stuff like that, a care package. And it's finally here in March. <laughs> so I finally got that. But um, before that, I wanted to show you what I got from TFAW.com, Things from Another World. I got um, issue number 19 of Ultimate Comic Spider-Man. Kind of glary, but yeah. I just think this cover is really cool. Like I said, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really not feeling the single issues yet. Like, I feel like I should just wait for the trade like I usually do. And then I ordered number one of Adventure Time, and this is what I got in the mail. Um, yeah, I was a little annoyed, but they've already, I've contacted them, they contacted me back, and number one is shipping out today, according to, um, the email they just sent me, so I will show you number one soon, but now I have two copies of this, so I'll probably just give this one to my sister or something like that. When I am, like, more, I've, I've gathered more, maybe I'll try and do a giveaway one day, but it's not gonna be anytime soon being a costume that has, like, little to no money, so don't count on it, <laughs> but, I mean, eventually, you know. So right now I'm going to open my box. It's like really big, so I have it here on the floor. I'm just going to like open it and then show you what's um in it. So you're not, it's not really going to be an unboxing. I'm just going to edit this. But yeah, so I'll see you in a bit with what I got in my care package. Bye. And I'm back just like that. The power of editing. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. They got me all my favorite candies and stuff that taste slightly off here in, Brit in British land because... Different formulas, I don't know, but I'm so excited to show you what my parents have got me. What is this? I don't know. Ooh. It is Forever Red Body Lotion. Isn't that nice? I'm sure you comic book collectors are really interested in this. My parents are so awesome. Seriously. I have like little to no food right now. I mean, this isn't food, but I mean, honestly, one box of this, you're full for the whole day, but that's just me being weird. <laughs> chocolate see this was a christmas care package but hey it's always cold here no i'm kidding it's not but yay milk chocolate <laughs> space bag she sent me this so i can uh pack uh, my clothes flat when i get back oh that's nice <laughs> nice shower proof okay this is definitely my oh I'm gonna pause this for a minute because this is the annoying alarm in my flat that goes off like at the drop of a hat. So in about 10 minutes, I'll get back to you. Okay. Okay, the alarm is over. Shower proof, yeah, you can tell, yeah, this is just mom, dad, parental stuff, but I asked for this because I don't have to pay for it, which is great. <laughs> Toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, roasted nuts, nice. <laughs> I'm very immature, can you tell? Deodorant? Okay, I don't know if I should be showing this on YouTube, but yes. Yes, more candy. They know me so well. I, oh my gosh, I haven't eaten candy in forever. Like seriously, with my stipend money, I've been buying the essentials, so this is like heaven. Ooh, Christmas gift. Nice. It's one of those cool scarves where it's like all together, so you just have to wrap it twice. Oh yeah. Oh wow, that is styling. I'm gonna wear that the rest of the thing. Yeah, and it's still kinda cold this year, so I can definitely get some use out of this, even though it's March. So yay. Oh cool, I got my fancy special natural hair shampoo or whatever, conditioner stuff, so that's awesome. And a lot too, this is gonna last me for like way longer than I'm gonna be here. Cool, this is really nice fancy. Coconut milk shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Caress in this kiss lotion. I have so many lotion now. <laughs> Candy canes. You can tell this is supposed to be Christmas. <laughs> My favorite, that sugar coated cookie stuff. This is so good. I hope they're not stale because this is awesome. Cookies, yay. <laughs> honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> the Brits have a version of Honey Nut Cheerios. It tastes slightly different, and I quite like it, but yay, good old American Honey Nut Cheerios. 
um, a random gift bag with nothing in it. Okay, cool. Oh, never mind. It's a card. Oh, it says, daughter, it's Christmas. But the wishes I'm making for you are the same wishes I'll always make. I wish you a good life, a hopeful heart, the chance to do the things that make you happy. And most of all, I wish you the feeling that you're always loved because you are. Love, mom and dad. Oh. And then it's a picture of my sister in her stars outfit, which I don't think I'm going to show you because I don't know what kind of weirdo people are on the internet. But she looks very cute in her stars dance outfit. <laughs> But I wouldn't show pictures of random, I wouldn't show pictures of people unless I had their permission. And I don't know, <laughs> my sister wants the whole internet to see her in her uh, outfit, even though, you know, she clearly does in high school. But yeah, toothbrushes, nice. Ooh, Ooh forever red shower gel. Okay, this is like a set. Nice, I'm, I'm seeing the pattern now. And they're wrapped up because they're like nice, breakable bottles, you know. Okay, my parents wrap this really well. And when I say my parents, it's always my mom that orchestrated this whole thing, let's be honest. Oh, cool. Um, ooh, Forever Red Fine Fragrance Mist. This is great. So I got the whole set of this, Forever Red. It's pretty cool. So yeah, and that's the care package that my parents so lovingly gave me. I'm gonna like eat these like right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully that was somewhat entertaining. So that was my care package, and as you saw before, a couple of comic books. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We'll see what my next video will be. <laughs> the power of editing strikes again. You may notice I'm now wearing earrings, I'm still wearing the scarf, and my glasses are still in their sunglass form because I just spent time in sunny Plymouth outside. So these will gradually go back to my glasses. It's kind of annoying because I feel kind of like weird wearing sunglasses because it's not that bright, but they just automatically react, but whatever. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I was like running to get my, got another package today. And I, this is my, it's a blue, a navy blue military jacket. This is turning into a fashion vlog, but, and the nerdy, but the nerdy story behind getting this jacket, I'm gonna open it now, is, <laughs> It's for Kim Javert cosplay. <laughs> yeah. I even found a website to get a bicorn hat, like he wears in the movie, which is basically a taco hat, like that whole thing you can wear this way or that way. Um, and my cosplay is a combination of Philip Quay Javert, Norm Louis Javert, because hey, I'm black, hey, get over it. Film Black Javert, whatever. And Russell Crowe's Javert, so it's, yeah. Ooh, it's, a, it's really, I mean, this jacket is so freaking awesome. And it's very military, police inspired. Um, I even found like a, a red medal to get. I mean, I'm, I'm totally wearing this as a cosplay. It's not really a cosplay, I'm not sewing it, but it's kind of a normal outfit slash, you know, we'll see. But it's pretty freaking sweet. You can definitely see the uh, Javert influence. And I just love this jacket. It came from like China or something. Because when I would email them, they would respond in broken English. And like a lot of the website has um, Chinese letter and stuff. But you know, it's pretty cool. And yeah, I will uh, have some pictures of this as well. So cool, I'm such a nerd. But literally, uh, you'll see this slowly come together. And by October of uh, this year, I'll be debuting it at uh, UNT's Halloween. You know, everyone wears kind of... You can wear costumes around campus and stuff. And then who knows, I might wear it to a Comic-Con or something. No one will know who I am. They might just assume I'm being Napoleon or something. But whatever, I know who I am. And I know I'm not going to enter any contests. I didn't sew anything. But it's just something cute to wear. And what can I say? I'm a Javert fangirl. I, I need to stop. But I won't. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Bye. Know nothing of Javert. I was born inside a jail. I was born with scum like you. I am from the gutter too.